yesterday, Lily's favorite shirt got wet. And how did she feel? Yeah, she felt mad. Here's a photo of our new student. What do you see is happening? Yeah, I do too. This is Lee. He and some friends were building towers of blocks and two children ran by. They weren't looking where they were going and they knocked down Lee's tower. Hmm. Put on your attentoscope and focus on Lee's face and body. How do you think he's feeling? Yeah, you're right. He's felt angry or mad. If you have the same idea, wave your hand in the air. Lee is mad. Another word for mad is angry. How do you know Lee's face and body show that he's feeling angry? Yeah, look at his mouth. What is it doing? What about his eyes? What do his eyes look like? You're right. They look scrunched up. And his mouth has his teeth gritting, squeezing hard. What about his arms and his hands? His arms are tight and he's making some fists. You're right. Think about what happened in the story. Is it a clue to how Lee is feeling? You're right. His block tower was knocked down. If you remember that, wiggle your fingers. Anger is uncomfortable. When you get angry, your body feels hot and tight. Pretend you're Lee. Make an angry face. Keep your angry face on and look around the room. Look for clues that tell you how you are feeling. How do you know that you're feeling mad? You're right. Your whole body is tight. Your whole body gets hot. And you might even look red. Well, guess what? Everyone feels mad sometimes. But it's never okay to be mean or hurtful when you feel angry. When you feel angry, you should always go to somewhere away from everybody else. Take some good calming breaths. You know the ones. Where you smell the flower and blow out the candle, those work great. And when you finally calm down, you need to talk to someone about your anger. You can talk to a teacher or a friend or a parent. Just make sure that you remove yourself from the situation and then calm down. Now, go on Seesaw and add your response. Tell me about a time that you felt mad or angry before and then tell me how you made yourself calm down again until next week goodbye